Okay. The dick stuff. Actually, we start with Ralph. So, Ralph. Actually, did I read this? I, I mentioned the revenge pornography, and then he got. I played the tape of the horse beating the suffer horse.mp4 video, um, which left people in a state of very mixed emotions because, like, on one hand, it is incredibly inexcusable for a man to behave that way towards his wife under any circumstances. Um, but then a lot of people are like, well, she is the pedal horse and she did treat faith like absolute shit, even though she knew that she was walking into the arms of the guy who would do eventually do that to her and absolutely positively did in every single way. So it's kind of like, well, she's also a retard and we hate her anyway. So it's sort of like mixed emotions. People, it's kind of like people are, are, don't feel bad for May cause she sucks. But they are, they do see like Ralph as like an abuser and they also just feel bad for the baby because poor Rosie is in that video screaming the entire time. It's not very fun. Uh, but then Ralph has put out a statement regarding his behavior. He says, I've been doing a lot of thinking about things. Kind of hard not to. I've decided to forgive my wife and even her father for their transgressions against me. I apologize to them for my comments as well, even though. Never expect that to be really accepted. I simply fell off to the repeated trolling for him, rubbing the fact that I can't see my daughter in my face, etc. My wife seemed to encourage it and gave me no response, even though I tried to reach out nearly every day. I should have been stronger in the face of that, but unfortunately I was not. The end goal of relapse was thus obtained by those who wanted to see it. I apologize to those supporters who I let down with my fail. I've decided to take Jesse Lee Peterson's advice and just move on from them and from my daughter. She will hopefully reach out to me when she's older. These things happen. It happened with my first wife and her father, actually. It's definitely a huge loss. A hole will always be there for me. But Jesse Lee Peterson really is right. The thoughts tormenting me daily are just destroying me. It's foolish to fight them or hold out for hope for something that is long gone. Living with this hate and obsession is slowly killing me. So, I'm giving it up. Believe it or not, I still love my wife. I wish her the best. It wasn't all bad, even if it is so rotten now. A lot of it was really great, actually. So, um, first of all, it's never an apology. It's not an apology to say, I'm sorry they made me hurt you. That is not an apology. That, that, under no circumstances are the words, I'm sorry that you made me hurt you, um, act as an apology. Because you're not sorry for what you did. You're sorry that it happened, which is different. There's a diff serious difference between being sorry for your own actions versus being sorry that something uh, transpired as it, as it did. Um, though there is... It's sort of weird. There is a sort of he's halfway to something that it would actually be like a real revelation for him. Um, it is true that Ralph has a, a very low like pain tolerance. He's easily provoked by people into falling off the wagon and he needs to work on his pain tolerance and his ability to handle situations like an adult without resorting to alcohol and drugs as a way of like coping with them. Though the fact that he acknowledges that that's what he does is um shocking i didn't actually expect that uh however it's also not really it's it's sort of like a cope because even though he acknowledges that that's the case he still says uh i simply fell off due to repeated trolling from so it's like an excuse like if if he hadn't have been trolled and everything would have been fine and he would have been you know, okay forever. When the reality is, is that if you cope from hard situations by taking Xanax, um, there would eventually be some kind of life situation or problem that you would eventually resort to drugs or alcohol with, even if it was not provoked by Harry Morris. So to give yourself the out and be like, well, he did it. So I understand that it was a bad thing to do, but I also, um, it's, it's, re it's reasonable or, it's, you know, it's to be a, presumed that that would happen. It's kind of like, eh. I don't know. Again, I, I'm, I'm trying people and people get mad at me for this. Like I'm, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be fair. And again, I, I, I think Ralph is really, really 
really shitty. Like his behavior is just absolute shit. And that's why I still make fun of him. Um, however, I, I, if he's going to try, like this is more interesting, more character development than I expected from him. So I don't know. He might be close to like hitting rock, but his rock bottom. Cause remember rock bottom is a myth. It can always get worse. Um, I don't know. I, what I what I really did not expect is that when he fell off yesterday, uh, he randomly messaged me and just said like, "I know that I've I, I've fallen off. I, I'm on drugs again." And I didn't expect that. I thought he would lie about it a lot more, but he didn't. So I'm like, "No, I I was randomly disarmed by this comment." So <laughs> I feel I feel a little bit more flailing than I would be. I'd probably be harsher. Because I mean, the video of him with May is just like so shitty. Is, but that was also like months ago. So I don't know. It's just, now that's just come out. It's like there's only so much to be said about it. I know it's not as fun as just being a complete dickhead to everybody. I will be a dickhead to to Ralph and Dick in regards to this though. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC Adolfo. Remember to like and subscribe.